Welcome back. We are here with part five of our third reign of our royal family. And a lot of things are going on right away here. Um, it is the royal summit, which I have forgotten about and am not prepared for. And if you need a little background, the royal summit is basically a holiday where all of the royals give presents to Luna, who is the vampire who gave them the land for their kingdom. So it's like a big deal because you know, she is like this all-powerful vampire that can give and take whatever she wants, whenever she wants. So they are, you know, almost ruled by her, but she's like very much an absent party, except she comes around every once in a while. She usually doesn't get involved in their affairs at all. She just kind of, you know, has set the rules and you have to follow them or she'll kill you basically, uh, and you saw her kill Terry and Morgan a few videos ago. So that is one of the things that's happening. So I'm having everyone in the royal family give her a present. Um, some of them don't know her, so I'm just quickly doing that because she's a celebrity, so they can't actually introduce themselves to her, which is annoying. So, And she loves a dog, which is great. Oh, look, and Mikel Jr. is here to say hello. So um, Simone is probably going to talk to him. She is embarrassed somehow, and um, also she needs to listen to music and she needs to get engaged. So those are two things we need to do for her aspiration. We're going to have her go listen to music. Also, I had the butler bake a birthday cake because it is uh, Simone, Aki, and Natsu's birthdays, although Aki and Natsu's birthdays were actually yesterday, so we're cutting it really close here. So... Um, we are giving Aki the jealous trait, and um, she has changed into her human form for some reason. And then Natsu will blow out the candles next. We are still giving presents to Luna in the meantime. And we gave Natsu the high maintenance trait. And, okay, there's Gohan. He is all set. Um... And then Simone has aged up into a young adult. I've given her the romantic trait, and um, her aspiration is still to be a trophy wife. So now we're going to head into Create a Sim and take a look at their new outfits. So you can see here are Simone's outfits. She is really into light blue right now for some reason. I just felt like it while we were doing this. Um, and she is still has long hair and she still has bangs but um you know so in some of her outfits she kind of pushes them to the side there and yeah so she is very much into those lighter colors right now i love this winter look i don't know if it's really her but i love it anyway so we're keeping it um and then here is natsu so we have given her some outfits as well. I don't know why I'm so into light blue right now, but we're just accepting it. Um, Natsu is... I don't know what Natsu is. She's mean. That's her <laughs> That's her personality trait. She's a little bit like Regina, I think, from the uh, second generation. But, you know, she's, uh, she's not very nice, but that's okay. And then here is Aki... Um, we're going to go backwards through Rocky's outfits. Actually, she was wearing this dress, and I know it's not really winter wear, but I was like, actually, that's cute, so I'm going to leave it. So um, we are just going through all of Aki's outfits. She looks really good in yellow, probably because it's like a complementary color to purple, which is what her skin color is. And yeah, so that is the three of them. Very much enjoying their new looks. So now we have all teenagers, and Simone is a young adult now, which is crazy. Um, she is going to really start getting her own life together so that we can, you know, have her move out and start her business. But uh, she's still over dramatic for some reason, and she wants to get engaged. Okay, here's our puppy. Let's have Gohan go hang out with the dog again. Um, he hasn't really been paying attention to his schoolwork, but, you know, whatever. And then um, I am going to have, who is this, Sunny? 
come over and Sunny is currently Aki's friend if you remember him from her childhood so I'm just gonna make them like good friends not just regular friends really quick here and um, actually I think Aki has like a crush on him he is the current heir to the siren duchy and uh, yeah he's also not his father's son but that's a whole different story and um, yeah, so I think that Natsu, because she's mean, she's going to like come over and she knows that Aki has a crush on Sunny. And so she's just going to be like, oh yeah, like let's be friends, blah, blah, blah. And be like super flirty to him and um, kind of make Aki mad and jealous. I did give Aki the jealous tra trait for this reason, uh, because Natsu is going to come up in her business. And even look at this, Natsu and Sunny are attracted to each other and Aki didn't get that notification for her and so these two are going to go off and woohoo and like Aki is so mad she's like her sister is stealing the guy that she has a crush on so she's so mad and then Gohan is like a week away from becoming a young adult because we're on normal lifespan now so I think he's revisiting the conversation with Leto about you know preparing to actually become the king because it's going to happen soon and uh, once again, Leto is just kind of telling him that he's not ready and telling him to just, you know, take a step back and let his uncle handle it. And this is really hard for him to hear because Gohan feels like he should be preparing. He's like getting nervous about not being ready. And um, I think that Leto is just kind of maybe enjoying the power dynamic a little too much. But Simone is going to invite Mikel Jr. over because she wants to get engaged, you know. Anyway, so we are going to have him propose to her. And I don't know what's going on with my icons. Obviously, this mod that I've downloaded has totally messed me up in a lot of ways. And I still haven't taken it out for some reason. But, um, yes. So we are going to have him propose to her. And, um, I mean, he's in her generation, but he's about to become an elder. Like, this is an old guy. And... Um, I think that also part of the reason that she went after him was because his daughter Layla turned her down and so she was really salty about that and she's like fine I, you don't want to make me the Griffin Duchess I'll do it by marrying your father instead so that is what's happening there and then Natsu has just finished her woohoo and so she's come out to like kind of mock Aki about it like oh he's attracted to me and not you and you know just like catty mean girl kind of stuff so Natsu enjoys that sort of thing because she's a mean sim but yeah so she is just kind of rubbing it in that Sunny is into her and not Aki and also it's the royal ball so let's get everybody over here to dance and drink and have some fun I have regrets about how many things I was trying to get into this holiday I don't know why I made it so many things but anyway, a bunch of people are coming over. And yeah, I think, I don't know if you guys remember in the last generation. Um, so Leto is the firstborn son. And he did not inherit purple eyes, so he is not able to become the king. His brother, Seth was able to inherit the eyes and he was a crown prince and Leto was just like not jealous per se but he knew he could do a better job like Seth was a total mess right he like got he got um what's the word like excommunicated from the family uh, there's a word for that like disinherited I, I don't know um disowned he got disowned <laughs> um so his brother Seth who was the crown prince got disowned at one point and like I think Leto was just like I could have done better and I think at the time it wasn't like that he wanted to be king per se but I think that now he's kind of gotten a taste of it he's like yeah I can do a really good job at this and see I should have been doing it all along and so I think that maybe there's a part of him that doesn't want to hand over the throne to Gohan and that's why he keeps pushing back so much not necessarily that Gohan isn't ready to start taking on responsibilities but that he doesn't want to like Leto doesn't want to give that up also Leto's wife is here hello Aubrey um, she's like drunk maybe and she's like 
you, I came by the other day, you weren't here, you're never around, you've like totally ignored our family, you are like getting a big head. Aubrey is like super smart and she, it doesn't take any crap from anybody. So um, I think that Leto's marriage is not doing too well either because of all these circumstances. So that is definitely an issue there. Definitely a lot of relationship drama here. And yeah, I'm just checking out birthdays, actually. Leto's going to become a elder in like a week and a half. So there's that. And yeah, so we are now going to actually head over to a different household. I've kind of gotten all the major milestones for this household that I want to get done here. I don't want to, you know, try and do too, too much. Like I, I don't want to have Simone and Mikhail Jr. get married right this second they only just got engaged i'm going to give them some time so in the meantime we're going to go to some of the other households and get some relationships going because you know all the other households in the whole world here need to still continue and do things outside of just the members of the royal family so we are here at michael jr's house so michael jr is the current duke griffin and for some reason my my whole game is starting to hate me here. Well, let me scroll through my club thing, but, um, so I'm going to find who I'm looking for here. But anyway, so Mikel Jr. is currently engaged to Simone. He is the Duke Griffin right now. His eldest daughter, Layla, who is the heir, is currently dating Hiro. And then the next child, Lorena, is currently dating Gohan. And then, um, Right here we have, is it Diane, I think her name is, is the youngest Griffin child and she wears a hijab like her mother did um, and this picture didn't work. But anyway, she is currently talking to Brian Perryton and they are getting to know each other a little better, kind of, you know, getting the flirt on, enjoying that. So um, she is trying to get him and they seem to be attracted to each other which is really good um, that's how you know it's working so she is they are attracted to each other and so she's trying to get romantic with him and we'll get them dating so that'll be everyone in the griffin household is currently dating someone which is good uh, when they become young adults i'll get them married and all that shebang but for right now because they're teenagers we're just going to have them date i mean I do have settings that I could marry them right now, but that's unnecessary and, you know, kind of early on in the plot. They don't need, well, we don't need teenager babies right now. So that is what's going on here. These two are going to have their first kiss. Very sweet. They are all set. And actually, I think that also handles everyone in the Perryton household as well. I already forget what my, my relationship plans are here. Yeah, um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, Brian is one of two Perryton sons. He is the heir, which is why he is currently going with Diane, who is, you know, not an heir child. Two heirs can't really be together, so. Um, also, we are going to have Layla, who is still kind of upset over her breakup with Simone, kind of get mad at her father because... Um, you know, she kind of thinks that her father encouraged her to break up with Simone and go with Hiro because he wanted to be with Simone, which I mean, there's definitely a possibility that that's related. Um, but her and Hiro are actually more compatible. They are like attracted to each other and everything. So I think it's what's best for Layla in the end, but also she's kind of mad at her father for the whole situation because she feels like he kind of manipulated her so that he could be with Simone which is only slightly creepy. It's kind of really creepy, actually, because they were, like, romantic when Simone was a teenager, but we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Anyway, we are going over to the Kitsune household. So here's where Hiro um, lives with his mom, who is Aubrey, who we just saw as Leto's wife. So these are Leto's children, Rachel and Hiro. So Rachel is actually going to talk to what is his name, Quinton, 
Perryton. So this is the other Perryton boy, but he is not the heir because Rachel is the heir. She's the oldest. So she is the heir to this family. And yeah, so she is going to schmooze him. And we're going to get them dating. This picture didn't work either. For some reason, none of my pictures are working. Uh, okay. So we are having her schmooze with him. He's actually a cutie, isn't he? Look at them. They're cute. So that is what's going on there. And we are going to get them romantic. I hope he's not too sad. I actually think they're attracted to each other too. It's just really working out here for me. <laughs> um, so these two are also attracted to each other. And they are just talking and getting flirty. And we are going to then have everyone in this household as well be dating someone. So that's two households that we're taking care of. And we don't have to worry too much about. I do want to make sure that, you know, we continue to work on everything. I am going to also make sure that, you know, after this generation, I'm going to start paring down the households because there are too many Sims that I'm keeping track of. So I think five households is probably good. Any more than that is too much. So I'm going to have everyone pair off right now and then have like one kid each so that we can have them marry each other and then the kid that left their household, that household won't be repopulated for now. We could do that again later if we needed some Sims in different situations, but for right now I think we're going to focus on the top five households. So that is the plan and we are wrapping this video up. We had three birthdays. Our, our tw girls, twin girls, they're not twins, but they were born basically on the same day. Our uh, teenagers, Simone is engaged and Aki and Natsu are fighting. Gohan is just chilling. Leto's marriage is falling apart. <laughs> Everything is fine. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you in the next one.